The Wisconsin dairy industry is another big part of why I really am proud to live in Wisconsin. It's a huge tag for Wisconsin as far as being uh, one of the top dairy producing states in the country. Um, and I think we're very progressive thinking in how we handle the animals, how we how we feed them, house them, treat them, and, and produce a product that's very safe for the consumer, whether it be milk, ice cream, or cheese. In this particular case, we're going to be vaccinating young animals, and this is for brucellosis, which a long time ago used to be a real public health concern. This would pass through the unpasteurized milk to people and cause a disease called undulant fever. There's still a few areas in the United States that have brucellosis active. Our job as a veterinarian isn't just treating sick animals, it's trying to prevent them from getting sick. That makes our job a lot easier. Our job now is to go down the line and vaccinate them and put a tag in and a tattoo so they're officially vaccinated. This particular restraining system here, it's a loose, loose fitting um, type of structure here so the animal still has mobility forward and slightly back and side to side but cannot run away from us, which is beneficial for humans that have to work with them so that we can keep them somewhat constrained. Also allows so that they can't get injured. We're also tying their heads over with a halter, um, just again to restrain their heads so that we can effectively get that official tattoo and tag in its proper place. This is one of two vaccines that we use in veterinary medicine that's considered a live vaccine, so this is actually very dangerous to work with. We want to be careful when we're working this. Um, if we accidentally poke ourselves, uh, we ourselves would have to seek medical attention. Undulant fever basically causes flu-like symptoms. It also um, infects the male reproductive organs and is very painful, so we try not to infect ourselves. As a veterinarian, we always have to be diligent in, in trying to prevent those um, illnesses getting into the cattle population and prevent them from transmitting on to humans. Again, I'm not allowing the animal to get hurt, but when I'm injecting a product that's somewhat dangerous, like the vaccine I'm using today, I know that I'm not gonna accidentally get poked because she's gonna move. The ear um, tagging process is very similar to a person getting um, and their ear pierced. It's just a small piece of cartilage that we're putting the tag through. Um, it's very quick and, and painless. They feel a little pinch and that's about it. When we're done here, There'll be no ill effects, they'll come right back up and eat as soon as we leave. Hey, Ellen. So what's uh, going on with this girl here? Uh, she's about 15 days in milk, just doesn't seem to be acting right. A little low on milk, seems a little sluggish. Okay, well let's see if we can check her over and find out what's wrong. So far, everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and check her for ketosis so we can see if she's low in blood sugar. She is ketotic, she's 1.8. Okay, so that's a mild ketosis. Um, so that's something that we can follow through on your protocols and we'll figure out how we wanna proceed on treatment, okay? Sounds good. So these are flow charts that I've designed for the dairies that we go to. I like to keep them informed on how they can properly assess and treat um, cows when they get sick and then when you get down to a box that might be yellow that's a warning that they've got to look up on another chart because there might be some residues in the milk or the meat and then this chart helps them determine how long they have to keep that animal away from the food chain. I would recommend on her because she's mild let's just give her 10, 10 ounces of propylene glycol orally. We just have to use at a minimum, the amount of medicines that we have to to treat the individual animal. And then we take the proper steps to make sure that that animal is not used for the food chain, whether it be for milk or meat. All that is very closely regulated by the FDA. It is the most regulated uh, business in, in this country. Every load of milk that's taken from a dairy um, is tested for any sort of medications. I'm very comfortable with the systems that are in place and how we as, a, as an agricultural community and, and our government monitors the safety of food. Mm -hmm.